James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is December 14th, 2023, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had an X 2.8 flare, Earth directed, with an R3 radio blackout, which occurred from AR-3514, that sunspot AR-3514 on today, December 14th. To date, this is the largest flare of the current solar cycle and the largest flare since September 10th, 2017. The flare peaked at 17.02 UTC time. We had temporary degradation or complete loss of high-frequency HF radio signals on some of the sunlit side of Earth. You can see that sunspot AR3514 is located right here, a very complex sunspot. An X2 flare occurred on the 14th of December at 1702 UTC from sunspot AR3514, which produced an R3 strong radio blackout on portions of the sunlit side of Earth. These blackouts can lead to temporary degradation or complete loss of high frequency radio signals. This is the largest flare of this solar cycle and the largest flare since September 10th, 2017 when an X8.2 solar flare was observed from GOES 15. The sunspot region will be monitored closely by the Space Weather Prediction Center forecasters, given its potential to produce additional M class and greater flares. Flare activity can be monitored using GOES X ray flux. Jumping over to our GOES X ray flux, we see that we've had two large M flares prior to to the X flare. We've had an M 5.3 solar flare and an M 2.3 solar flare, both initiated from sunspot AR 3514. Following the two strong M flares, we had an additional X 2.3 solar flare generated from that same sunspot AR 3514. It looked to be directly Earth facing and it has been modeled by NASA. Currently, it looks like a glancing blow to Earth, but I'm thinking that we're going to feel much more of it than they have modeled. Headed over to GO 16 Solar Ultraviolet Viewer at 195 angstroms, we can see the X explosion here. Rather long term, actually, seems to last almost an hour. Uh, we can see it being generated from sunspot AR3514. That's where all of the major M and X flares have been generated today from. Now, obviously, this is real time. So it was, uh, well, we'll just say Earth facing or more Earth facing hours ago. We also have a large coronal hole that's spinning into, well, central disk, and those solar winds should be expected in about 72 hours. And we have a ton of sunspots coming around the limb. They promised that these were huge sunspots that were making the sun vibrate in a way that it never has before. Jumping over to STO at 131 angstroms, we can see how significant that X flare really was, maybe stronger than what they're telling us. The strongest flare of the current solar cycle, sunspot AR3514 erupted on December 14th at 17.02 UTC time, producing a strong X2.8 class solar flare. This is the strongest flare of the solar cycle so far and the most powerful eruption the sun has produced since the great solar storm of September 2017. 
NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash seen here. Radiation from the flare has caused a deep, short-wave radio blackout over the Americas. This is the blackout map as provided by NOAA. Ham radio operators may have noticed loss of signal at all frequencies below 30 MHz for more than 30 minutes after the flare. It's too soon to know for sure, but this explosion probably launched a fast coronal mass ejection, CME, with an Earth-directed component. The U.S. Air Force is reporting a Type 2 solar radio burst which typically comes from the leading edge of a CME. Based on the drift rate of the radio burst, the emerging coronal mass ejection's velocity could exceed 2,100 kilometers per second, or 4.7 million miles an hour. We're going to have to stay tuned to find out, although NASA has modeled this, as we will soon see. Taking a closer look at our D Region Absorption Prediction Center, you'll see how long lasting this flare really was. It's already started. Wow. Extremely powerful. I guess that's the strongest flare we've seen for this entire solar cycle, period. Now, here is our Earth facing solar disk. 3514 is this sunspot group here. We have 3520 very close to it. 3517, 13. We have 3515 and 16 here. Uh, really look like they're but well falling apart. And we have 3519 and 3518. Again, this being our area of interest, 3514 currently. All right, taking a look at the solar events, i.e. solar flares for the last 24 hours, we first see the M5.7 generated by 3514. Believe it or not, they have not assigned sunspots to this M2.3 or this X2.7, which I believe was an X2.8 just a moment ago. Uh, so, we know they did come from 3514 because we visually saw it. Jumping over to NASA's Goodward Spiral here, we can see that they have the flare really missing most of Earth. Earth being this little yellow dot right here, uh, although it looks like a glancing blow. Now, these models are almost wrong every single time they're made so we'll see what happens to me it looks like earth's going to be affected uh, a lot more than what you see here on this model currently we have no major plasma or solar winds hitting our planet so it's a hurry up and wait they did say extremely fast coronal mass ejection at 4.7 million miles an hour so it should be here uh or be Earth effective much sooner than I would have guessed, probably in less than 35 hours. God bless you and yours. Stay safe out there. Uh, put your tinfoil hats on. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, ladies and gentlemen, anything's possible in Bizarro World.